How do saved variables affect the game's build settings anyway? Observe this first part with me. Inside the Unity editor, when I play my game, everything works perfectly. My car rotators, the car actually rotating, the car body selection panel works. If the car isn't owned, the preview option I set up triggers based on the amount of money the player has. When I close the window, the car reverts back to the actual selected car. The paint panel comes up as it should when I click the button. And if I change the color to yellow, the car changes and the money is deducted from my total. I can select a track and see the track records also update along with it. When I click on the menu, some credits come up inside a scroll bar for the music I have. The scroll bar works, there's an option to exit the game. And this window closes properly as well. So I know that all my functions are working properly in the editor. Watch this. When I play the game in a built version, half my functions don't work. The car body window opens, but none of my options are even selectable. When I click on them, I get nothing. The color scheme isn't firing, my preview doesn't trigger, but the UI container does work. The scroll bar works perfectly, and the window opens and closes. The same thing happens with the paint panel. At first, I wasn't sure if it was due to having too many functions run on the update or not, the track selectors work, but the track records don't update, which isn't an update function, that's a custom event. The menu window opens and works perfectly, so I knew it wasn't due to the windows being disabled at the start of the scene. After a whole day of research and getting nowhere, I happened to notice that all of the functions that were not working contained saved variables. This was troubling because without the ability to save these options, the game wouldn't be much of a game at all. I've seen this initial and saved option in the Blackboard window before, but it's not explained very well, so honestly, I just guessed that this might have an impact. And I could not find the answer anywhere. Actually, this video might be the only place this exists. You do have to initialize your saved variables before you can call them in a new build of your game. The reason it works in the editor is because there's already a player preference saved for this game within the Unity registry keys. When you build your game out, Windows at least will see that as a new application. And if the saved variables haven't been initialized, calling them has no impact. In fact, if the saved variable call exists anywhere in the flow graph, the entire function breaks. Let me say that again. If the saved variable call exists anywhere in the flow graph, the entire function breaks. All I need to do is copy my saved variables over to the initial side as well. I doubt there's a chance of this, but if anyone from Unity is watching this, can we get a little UI help here? Maybe a simple initialize save variables for better performance indicator might help? After taking this step and rebuilding the game for Windows, you can see it's identical to the editor version. My money is reset to zero, which is the initial value. If I open up the car body selector, now the cars I can't afford are in red. My preview only works as it should, and the paint color selector operates as well. I do want to test out whether or not the collected money system will actually add to my total though. I'll quickly fast forward through this level. My pause menu shows no money collected, accurate. Let's get some money. end screen fires up and shows collected money of $330. That should now be added to my saved variable and displayed for me in the garage scene, and it is. This other video is when I went through and debugged the entire garage scene. Now that I know about initial and saved variables, this is where I will add this level of debugging in future games.